Hello and welcome back to Actual Edge, your go-to source for the latest medical updates. Before we start, don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Today, we bring you groundbreaking news in the field of diabetes research where scientists are making strides towards a potential cure for type 1 diabetes. Remember that these developments are still in the early stages, however, they hold potential to be the final cure for diabetes. A recent paper led by researchers from Baker Heart and Diabetes Institute is highlighting a new therapy aiming to restore pancreas function, potentially reducing the need for continuous insulin injections in individuals with type 1 diabetes. According to the research, the team has shown promising results by utilizing two FDA-approved drugs, GSK-1-6 and Tazimetostat, originally designed for race cancers. These drugs have demonstrated the ability to rapidly restore insulin production in pancreatic cells. The study, which used pancreatic cells from both child and adult donors with type 1 diabetes as well as non-diabetic donors, revealed that insulin-producing cells destroyed in people with type 1 diabetes could be regenerated within 48 hours of stimulation with these small molecule inhibitors. Experts in the field, such as Dr. Gary Deed, believe that although the research is in the early stages, it shows promise for future developments. Dr. Gary Deed mentioned that this research reflects world-leading Australian diabetes research, indicating advances in type 1 diabetes that are progressing. There's a potential for a cure in the near future. The authors of the study emphasized the urgent need to find therapies that stimulate beta cell growth and induce beta cell function as T-cells of the immune system selectively destroy insulin-producing beta cells in individuals with type 1 diabetes. While the potential treatment is still in the early stages and may not be immediately relevant to general practitioners, the next step, according to Professor Sam L. Osta, is to investigate the regenerative approach in preclinical models. Professor Sam L. Osta mentioned that there is excitement and promise regarding these compounds. They are conducting an animal study and in the next two years there will be results on toxicology and regenerative capacity in small animal models of diabetes. The research team aims to explore whether these drugs can influence stem cell production in the pancreas and the expression of beta cells, the only cells in the body capable of producing insulin. While the road to a cure for type 1 diabetes is still in early stages, researchers remain optimistic. As they continue their journey, we'll keep you updated on this exciting development. Stay tuned to Actual Edge for more on the latest updates in medical breakthroughs. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.